Hello, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Disney Weddings chat. This is Mindy at This Fairy Tale Life. Good to see you guys again this week. Hey Carrie. Hello Bridal Beauty. Thanks for watching you guys. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday so far. Happy Wednesday. Oops. <laughs> Okay, let me turn this around. Hold on. Hey, there we go. Let me get this adjusted a little better. Hi, it's my face. So six o'clock snuck up on me a little bit and I didn't have time to do my hair. So it's in a ponytail and that's just how it's gonna be. Let me adjust this a little more. Sorry, everyone. Hi, princess. Hi, Christy. Yay, lots of people on tonight. Hello. So, thanks for watching. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so not prepared. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Mindy and I run a blog called This Fairy Tale Life. I write about Disney weddings, Disneyland weddings, watching with a cocktail. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I'm gonna have a cocktail after this because live broadcasts freak me out a little bit. Yes, cocktails for everybody. Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to this Wednesday chat. I do these wedding Wednesday chats every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, I'm in my sunny corner again this week. So happy. Love daylight savings time. Hello, Expressionary Films. Welcome. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, if you're new to Periscope, I'll just explain quickly how things work. Uh, you can comment by um, swiping up your comment. Um, hey, Chris! Yay! I love when the grooms, the grooms, and speaking of grooms, there's um, Evan. Hey! Uh, love the shirt. John said hi. John's here too! Yay! So many grooms! I love it. I love it. Oh, you're welcome. I uh, thank you for the Insta likes. I always try to give back what I get, so thank you. Um, Thank you for the hearts, you guys. If you're new to Periscope and you don't know what hearts are, hearts are awesome. All you do is tap the screen, and that that gives me that gives me hearts. And uh, what that tells me is that you're liking the conversation, you're agreeing with what I say, etc. Um, if I don't see any hearts, I'm assuming you guys are pretty bored and tuning out. Uh, if you want to share this with your followers, just tap on little Perry gal in the corner, and you can share this on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. John said Wednesdays with Mindy are like Wednesdays with Walt. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm flattered that my name is in the same sentence as Walt and that's that's hilarious. But thank you very much. <laughs> that is funny. Hey Sarah. Um so that's just a quick rundown of how Periscope works. Uh today our topic is going we're going to talk about um legal getting legally married and if that affects your Disneyland wedding, or really a Disney World wedding, but I'll talk about Disneyland since that's what I know. And um, gosh, I'm really like embarrassed about my hair right now. Oh well. So this question came up in the Married at Disneyland Facebook group, which if you're not in, please look us up and join us over there. If you're a Disneyland Weddings fan, you don't have to have been married at Disneyland to join that group. Uh, this came up, um, and this comes up every now and then. Thank you for sharing, Christy. Thank you, thank you. Um, this comes up now and then, uh, regarding getting legally married because for a lot of people, getting married at Disneyland or Walt Disney World is a destination wedding. They don't live in the state. And because, oh, thank you for sharing on Facebook. I can't wait to see how that picture turns out. Hi, Minnie, Miniac. Hello. If you're new to my broadcast, please introduce yourself. Tell me your name and your location and um, I will, I promise to immediately forget your name, but it's nice to pretend, right? Um, <clears throat> so a lot of people are coming from out of state and Minerva in Fresno. Hi Minerva, she was a bridesmaid. Oh, perfect. Hello, welcome Minerva. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, feel free to uh, chime in with any comments. Um, if you can get married on Disney Cruise, you can! Excellent question. Yes, you can get married on Disney Cruise, so I will add, and the same rules apply, so I will add Disney Cruise to this conversation. 
So a lot of people, um, especially with a Disney cruise, it's considered a destination wedding. And um, that means that, like, how, what are you going to do about your marriage license or whatever? So um, with Cal with Disneyland is in California. So to get married in California, you have to have a California marriage license and it has to be filed in California, even if you live in a different state. So you have to have the license for the state that you get married, if that makes sense. Um, for Walt Disney World, it's Florida. And then for Disney Cruise Line, you know what? I'm not 100% sure what the rules are if you have to have the license for the state you're leaving out of. Hawaii, yeah, I would assume Hawaii, if you get married at Alani, you have to have a Hawaiian marriage license, I would assume. But for the cruise line, just thought of that. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to research that after this chat, and I will put it on my Facebook page. Um, <clears throat> so... You have, you have to have a license for the mar the state that you're getting married in, and for a lot of people, maybe you don't live in that state. So the solution, generally, like for Disneyland, is people come in a couple days before their wedding, and they will go to the local courthouse in um, Orange County, where Anaheim is located, and there's a few uh, different courthouses you can choose from that are all within, like, 15 miles. And I've heard reports from plenty of couples who say that it's very easy to uh, get their license. You can make an appointment online, but even if you don't have an appointment, usually you're not there for more than an hour. Of course, everyone's experience could be different, but I haven't heard anybody who's had a, a bad experience at the Orange County courthouses. Um, you could also go through your officiant. So um, a couple of the officiants uh, that are on the Disney preferred list, like great officiants and um, Reverend Carolyn, you can actually get your um, marriage license through them. Now you're going to pay an additional fee, but for some couples, it's worth it to them because then they don't have to go out of their way. They don't have to take off an entire afternoon. They don't have to research everything and get it right. Their officiant handles it for them. So um, I actually have, thank you to a uh, wonderful Disneyland bride, Jenny. I have a guest post coming up about the process of getting your marriage license handled through your officiant and what all that entails. So, hey, Lynn, I'm glad you could join us. Welcome. So for anyone who's interested in that route, again, it is an additional fee. So I feel like a lot of couples would just rather take care of it themselves because they're on a tight budget usually if you're getting married at Disneyland. But yes, that's a really excellent point. So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, but this particular person in the Facebook group was asking about if they could get legally married in their home state and also then come to Disneyland and do their wedding. It's so worth the fee, especially if you were out of state. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Molly. Um, and even uh, Jenny lives in California. And yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they they felt it was worth it too. So um, <clears throat> my mind just went blank, which happens often. Uh, so this bride said, thank you for the hearts. No, you're fine. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's me. Trust me. Um, so this couple lives in a different state and they wanted to, um, get married in their state so that they could, uh, just skip the whole California process altogether. So they would get, mine does too when I have drinks, Christy, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, I, I don't even have that excuse. It's just me. It's just been a long day, you guys. So they wanted to get married at their home state. Um, they have two uh, little kids um, that were going to be with them when they're visiting for their Disneyland wedding. And so their question was, can we get married in our home state? Just do the legal ceremony like at the courthouse or just really quick or whatever. But then also later on have their big wedding at Disneyland with all their friends and family. And like, can that be their anniversary date? And the answer is yes. Yes, that's totally fine. You can totally do that. Uh, Disney themselves are not going to ask you for any proof of a legal marriage. They don't care about your license. No one, like, no one asked me to see anything. It was all just handled between us and our officiant and our witnesses. No one cares. Yes, we will take your money. Listen, guys, Disney will take your money if you want to have an event with them. 
Um, that's the that's the bottom line. And uh, keep in mind that Disney does vow renewals. People renew their vows at Disneyland all the time. And of course, they're already legally married. And Disney still treats it like a wedding celebration, a wedding event. You get a ceremony, you get a reception, if that's what you want. Some people just want to have a reception and a party. That's fine, too. But uh, Disney does not police and monitor whether you're legally married already and you have to turn in your license or blah. It, it doesn't matter. So the quick answer is if you want to get married first in your home state just to make things super easy, yes, you can totally go ahead and do that. I think that's it. <laughs> And I know that also applies to Florida. So um, you can do that if you're getting married in Disney World, probably Hawaii too. It's totally easier. And you can still treat your Disney wedding day as your anniversary. That's fine. That's totally fine. So I, people, you know, and people just don't know. They don't know if that it's an okay thing to do, but this does happen probably more often than people think. And it's totally acceptable. It's totally fine. Um, people do it all the time. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for tuning in. So yeah, this is, I guess, kind of a short chat, you guys, because the simple answer is yes, you can totally do that. No, you don't have to get legally married at your Disneyland wedding if that doesn't work for you. And you know what? Um, I'll just cover this because it just came to mind and it's a similar topic. But I've known a couple, couples, a few couples over the years who had to get married early because they needed something for insurance or because they had a relative who was ill and they wanted to get married because the relative could not travel um, or perhaps was no longer going to be with them at when the time of the wedding rolls around. I mean, these are real life things that happen that you can't, sometimes you just can't predict. So, yep, it's totally fine. Disney does not does not care if you are legally married or not. I mean, don't, they probably prefer not to be like lied to, but you know, otherwise bottom line is they don't care. So I think that's it, you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your excellent questions and comments. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you have a topic for a future Disney wedding chat, uh, let me know. You can reach out to me on Twitter at MindyJoyM or on Facebook under This Fairy Tale Life or on my Instagram, also MindyJoyM. Welcome back, Sarah. I'm sorry, we're just wrapping up, but you can watch the replay. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, once again, if you, in case you missed it at the beginning, if you feel like this chat was helpful and you want to share it, you can tap on the little Perry Gal in the corner and share it on. Twitter or Facebook or share it with your Periscope followers. Yay! I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth, which is also something that happens a lot. You guys, sometimes I am just a disaster. Sometimes I can't fix my hair and sometimes I have lipstick all over my teeth. Aw, thank you. That's very sweet, Molly. Um, this is kind of the beauty of live streaming because I can't go back a perfect disaster. You're very kind. Um, because you can't go back and redo these things. Like if I'm doing a video for YouTube or for Facebook, I can just be like, oh, I'll take another take because I said um too many times or because there was lipstick on my teeth or I feel like I need more makeup or whatever. Um, you get what you get with the live streaming and I kind of, I kind of like it that way. I think it's kind of fun. It's just like if I was meeting up with someone to hang out at Disneyland. It's just real life. Yeah, so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Um, so once again, rambling. Thank you guys for watching and um, hope to see you guys next week. Uh, if you're on Facebook, hop over to Facebook because I will be doing the same topic for all the Facebook people who are not on Periscope. So thank you again. Thank you for the hearts. Have a great rest of your Wednesday and I will see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.